keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi everybody, Chris here from racingbetdata.com. In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can quickly, reliably, and easily backtest the system using data from our results and odds download file. So I've navigated to that page, um, and the beauty of this is that the right-hand side gives you an archive of all the previous files. So me personally, as a matter of routine, I'll go in and download the daily file each morning, but sometimes you're not about, not available to do that. That's where the archive can help you. So you can go in and grab files that you may have missed. Equally, if you're a new member to the site and you, have, you haven't um, previously been able to get these files, once you join up as an advanced member, you can go in and grab these files. It really takes a couple of seconds to go through, click each file and it will start downloading. Um, and then personally what I do is I move them into one contained folder on my C drive within Dropbox um, and they're all there to access. So brilliant starting point, get those files in place and then using Power Query that we're gonna do in the second part of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly create and test a system um, that you can quite easily, um, it, it'll become dynamic and you can quite easily add files to the folder and it will keep evolving and you'll continually be able to test that. So I've moved over to the second screen here uh, and what we're going to do is do the Excel part, which is really the fun bit, fun bit where you can get in, create your system, put your rules and settings in, manipulate and do some testing. So I'm going to walk you through the really easy stages of how you're going to do it. You might have already seen some power query videos that we've done. If you haven't, don't worry, I'm going to go through it here. Really simple, really easy to, to amalgamate a series of files that are stored in one place. So as I was saying, download your files from the archive, put them all into one folder, and this function here in Excel will seam, seamlessly link all of them together. So what I'm gonna do is bring them all in from a folder. And I'm just gonna copy the path of my folder. So you can either navigate using the browse or paste that in. So these are where I've keep, I keep my results for, um, files. And what I've done is I've cleared this out. So I'm gonna start looking at a small amount. So I've just got October's results files in here. So um, what we're gonna do is go combine and transform data. Now, if you didn't wanna do any manipulation, you could send this straight to Excel by clicking the combine and load to, but I wanna put some rules in place, take out some columns that I don't always need. Um, and to save myself that repetitive task, I can do all that, build all these rules in Power Query. So we go combine and transform data. Now, as it says on the screen, it's evaluating all the data. It's gonna give me the, um, the common tabs that it finds in that results file. Um, and we do want the results. We don't want the filters, which is where you can use the slices. So we click on results um, and then click on okay. And as it says on the screen, it's starting to process these queries. So we've got 14 days worth, so half of the month pretty much is complete. Um, and it will start bringing these through, evaluating query. And this is real time, so I'm showing you how, how quickly it can pull this data through. And here on screen, we have the combined 14 days worth of files all into one. Now what we can do is start building our rules, our specific criteria that we want, um, and it will maintain that going forwards. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is if you're familiar with this results file, it's brilliant because it gives you the whole, or the, pri and the price movements of the whole race in play, which isn't something we need in this, uh, for this analysis. So what I'm gonna do is exclude those columns. And the simple way to do this is is select the columns we do need from the data. And I'm just doing this with, actually I'm gonna hold the control key and you can select with the mouse or by scrolling all the columns we want to retain in here. So I'm gonna keep all of these ones, which are the main bulk of the report. I'm doing this a slow way just so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, we'll keep all the pre-race price movements because they're gonna be key to our selection. Um, and then 
We don't need any of these other ones. So this is where the last traded price in running. And then you have to the right hand side as the price moved in place. So we're going to exclude all of those. So once you've selected the columns you want, if you right click, you can say remove other columns. And what that will do is keep the data that you've selected, the columns you've selected and remove all of the others. And it will remember that rule even if you add new files to, um, to your folder. So really useful way of doing things. Um, now what we're gonna do is build in our criteria, our rules that we wanna apply. So what are we looking for? The, the brilliance about this data is this has already happened in, and this happened in real time. So what you can do is structure what the filters that you want to apply before the race. And then what you'll do is you'll get instant uh, information about how that race happened with the result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, Betfair SP rank. And what we're going to do is put a filter on this where the horse rank at, at the start of the race, so at BSP, is greater than three. So basically we're excluding the favorite, the second favorite, and the third favorite. Apply that filter and you can see that that's already taken out horses that were favorite, second favorite, third favorite. Now we're gonna to move to the number of runners and we're gonna look for races where there's greater than 10 runners in a race. Now the idea behind this system, it's not anything that I'm, ex I'm not showing you this saying, if you do this for the next three, four, five, six, seven, eight months, you will make X amount of money. This is just demonstrating how you can use the data and you can build separate rules. You can use any of these filters, but I'm just picking these as an example to show you how you can specify criteria. And what we're looking for here are outside horses that leading up to the start of the race, their odds drop. Um, and that's and we're looking for horses where, because they're outsiders, they're gonna have um, a decent enough starting price. And we're gonna filter by that as well in a moment. So we're filtering out races where there were um, less than 10 runners. Now we're going to go across to the Betfair SP price. And what we're going to do here is exclude anything, let's say less than oh, BSP of 22. So where the SP was less than 22, we're going to exclude those from the output. Sorry, we're, we're including. So anything greater than 22 we've excluded. Let me get that right. So yeah, so what we see here is horses that were not first, second or third favorites. The race had 10, uh, more than 10 runners in it um, and the horses odds were less than 22 at BSP, okay? So I've just put three really basic rules in. You can put more in and you can even add your own columns if you wanna do calculations in here. But I think I've shown you enough about the power query side of things. What we wanna do now is take this to Excel um, and show you what the, the power of Excel can do. So we're gonna select close and load and close and load two. And this will give you the options of pivot tables or charts, um, but we're just gonna send this to an Excel table. So you click okay here. And as you can see, this is starting to load the rows into an Excel spreadsheet for you. And the brilliant thing about this Excel spreadsheet is um, as you add more files to the folder, you can refresh this and I'll, I will take you through this. You can refresh this um, file and it will update remembering all the rules. So it, it will keep out of it the columns that we've deleted. It will ensure that only horses where they were uh, bet for SP ranked um, above three, their odds were less than 22 um, and they're more than 10 runners starting the race. Um, so one thing you might have noticed is this time column. We can filter it at source in the Power Query, but just as easy to right click on here, format the cells we're not going to be using this column, but just for display purposes, you can select time and you can tidy that up. Now, just to confirm, we've got in this date field, um, first through to the 14th of October, 2021, nothing else, which can collapse that and keep that as it is. Just showing you that for display purposes. Um, and here are, are all the other cells that we've brought across, all the other columns. And what we're going to do, this brings it across in table format, so we can add columns to this and the calculations will automatically populate. Now what I'm gonna do here is put a column in called selection. 
Now we're going to define using binary our selections. So what we're going to say is a real simple rule. We're going to select if if the Betfair SP was less than the odds three minutes before post time, put a one in there. And if they weren't, put a zero. So what that will do is automatically populate any horse. We've already set the criteria in the power query. So we know the odds have been filtered, the number of runners. Um, and we've now put an extra layer in where we've said, were the odds before the start of the race, um, sorry, three minutes before the start of the race, greater than the odds at post time? And where they are, put a one, and where they're not, put a zero. The next thing we need to calculate is profit. So we're going to put a PL column in there, profit and loss. And the rule we want to apply, so we're just going to do a straight back, simulate a straight back on any horse. Um, so we need to say race place, where it was equal to one, i.e. the horse won the race, this is the sum we need to apply. So we'd be backing at bet for SP. So we're going to put a comma, bet for SP minus one to take away the stake. And we're going to simulate a 10 pound bet. So times 10 or 10 euro, 10 unit stakes. And then we need to apply commission to make sure that it's accurately recording. So that would say if we were to back that horse and it won for a 10 pound or 10 unit stake, it would return 69.934. If it lost, which it did in this case, minus 10, that's your stake gone. And again, automatically calculates for, for you. I'm gonna format that into uh, currency. So really simple, really quick. Now what we can do is load a pivot table just to summarize our data. So we're gonna select a pivot table and I've put it on a different sheet. We select our full data range here. Now let's say we want to select by date. So it brings up all the dates in the month, uh, the profit and loss, and that's summed that for us. I'm going to convert that to a currency and let's just put an account. Uh, we can just pick any random um, filter and that just gives us a count, the number of races. Now, one more thing we need to apply is our selection. So we've got a selection in there and a one you will see that only horses that met our criteria and the criteria was defined as where the Betfair SP was less than the odds, the last traded price three minutes before the off. So we've selected the one. You can see that simply backing using that criteria for the last 14 days would have returned a profit of 1500 pounds using a 10 pound or unit stake. 441 horses met their criteria. So all looks good with that. Um, we can then um, apply more filters if we so desire. So let's have a look. So we can use this selection field that we've generated and we can apply, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here is do a cut. So control X, and I'm gonna say, and. So I'm gonna paste in that rule that we've always set. But if we say, and well, let's say the Betfair SP, uh, we've already defined this as being less than 22, but let's say less than 20 in there um, and hit okay. So what it does now is look to see, was the bet for SP lower than what it was at three minutes? And was it lower than 20? And if I do a quick uh, refresh on here, on this pivot table, you can see that that's dropped now, just by changing that bet for SP from 22 to 20, because we'd already done the filter at 22. But that's how you can apply other logic to your, um, to your formula. Just go back in and refresh that one, 1508. So getting back to the file itself, I said to you that we'd only imported the October data and you can see that in there. Well, let's import September's data as well into there. Now on my separate screen, what I'm doing is moving all the files from September, um, which I've, I've taken out, I've, I've just left October, I've stripped this file, uh, folder down to October. Um, I'm just gonna load all of September's um, results into um, that same folder and I can see that they're all moving across now and once they're all in I will do a refresh by going to data and clicking refresh and that will ensure that all of the September data pulls automatically into this file and it will do so with the rules that we've always specified so I touched on it before, but we won't be getting any of those in play um, columns because we'd already excluded those through the power query. 
We won't be getting races where there were less uh, 10 or less horses in the race. We've excluded those. The Betfair SP rank will not be less than um, three or lower. And the odds at SP time will not be greater than or equal to 22. So I'm just going to give this a refresh now. So we can click refresh all. And you can see down the bottom there, we've got running background query and you can click to cancel it. So it's just running that refresh. And like I said, it's doing this in real time. So um, this, you know, there's no, there's no hidden um, speed up on this video. It's showing you how it happens in real time. And this is bringing in 30 more days worth of, of data into this, um, into this file. So you can see there that we now have at the top September data. We click on it here. You can see that we have 30 days of September now contained within our data set. Um, again, Betfair SP rank, you don't see any three, two or one. Um, number of the uh, runners in the race, minimum is 11. And if we go to the Betfair SP, um, there's nothing above 22. And these columns that we'd already calculated, they have already populated all the way down to the bottom. So automatically calculated that. So what we can do is go over here and refresh our pivot table. And we do a quick sort. You can see that the September data is now already in there. And you can see that the total profit that was £1,500 for October to date has now jumped up to £2,342 with September. Now, by selecting the whole of the September um, dates, you can see that down the bottom there, using this, I call it a system, but this strategy, this these filters, these variables that we've applied would have returned uh, £834 for, for September, um, backing 810 different horses. So, like I said, this is to show you how you can use our data out of the website, use Power Query to combine multiple files. Also using Power Query, you can set your rules and your variables, bring it into Excel, and you can do further analysis. Quick, easy for backtesting, keep monitoring, thinking of different ideas, but the data itself is huge. There are so many different facets and factors that you can apply. Um, we encourage you to, to look into it, find an angle, keep testing it. Um, and of course, as always, let us know how you're getting on.